Hey, the update is here. It's upon us. This is happening right now. We're going to go over it in this video real quick. Let's get to it. Hey, oh my gosh, craziest thing happened to me. Um, you're going to see in a minute. This is... Okay, the update's here. It's here. Okay, well, I guess not here, but it's going to be here in the next few days. You guys are not going to want to miss what I have to tell you right now. Um, let's go over the things. There's four things in this video that I want to go over that are going to be absolutely rocking your world. Um, and I'm going to blaze through them real quick because I have some gameplay that I want to get to. Clash with Shane was nice enough to play some battles with me just so I could show you these sweet decks and this new card that is coming out as well as the new game modes. Um, so, huge shout out to Clash with Shane. If you have a chance, go check out his channel. He's absolutely awesome. Maybe too awesome. Huh. Never thought of that. I don't know why I go against him. Like, he's basically pro. Semi-pro. He's going pro. He's got to be pro. He's really good. He beats me all the time. His channel's basically all, like, good decks and, like, things you would actually want to do or watch to, like, improve. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Anyway, I have this, so there's that, I guess. Anyway, let's get into this. So first things first, obviously let's go over here to, um, do, 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 do. first thing, oh, new arena. They have new arena, okay, spooky town. 3,600 trophies, that's all you need to know about that. Unlocks a little bit earlier. Legendary arena, 4,000 trophies now, and they moved Hog Mountain, maybe? I don't know if they moved it actually. It's 3,000 trophies, okay? And then they switched all the cards around. So check, as soon as you guys open it up, when you get the update, check out to see if you guys can get new cards in your arenas, because it's kind of cool that you can get new cards now. If you already have the card unlocked, you'll still be able to get it. Do not worry about that. Not even one iota. Chill out, okay? <laughs> anyway, pretty cool arena. You'll see in the replays. We'll go over them in a second. Um, so, new arena. The next thing that is huge, absolutely huge. Okay, maybe there's five things, I don't know. Next thing that's huge is this new tournament, a little bit different, you're thinking, oh, I already know about global tournaments, you don't. This is different. You only have 40 cards. <laughs> so it's just like clan wars, a little bit different. You only have 40 cards to choose from, gonna change the decks that you're gonna be able to play. So it's gonna make it so people have to play all kinds of new decks. Kind of interesting. I thought that was unique in every way, shape, and form. Pretty awesome. Um, next thing is next. Um, let's get back to this screen here. Next thing, trade tokens, okay? They fixed them a little bit, okay? <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> but basically, if you wanna make a trade, very simple, all you do, hit the card that you want, I want nice wizard. Hit the cards that you want to give away. I want to give away all these bad boys. Ooh, not my miner. Uh, remove that. Ooh, don't want to give my miner away. <laughs> That's not my account. <laughs> and then you go ahead, hit trade. Um, same as usual. That way it gives options to the person taking the trade. He can trade whatever he wants. Anyway, before we get into the, the last thing, um, I guess we have two more things. Yeah, two more things. So, I'm going to save the other one for really last because it's absolutely awesome. It's a game changer. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even like trying to clickbait you till the end of the video, but it is a game changer. It's going to change the game. You'll see. Um, we have a new card. Obviously, we have the wall breaker in here. Awesomeness. Okay. So he's pretty rad. Let's check him out. He focuses only on buildings, guys. So he's not going to go get the girl. <laughs> he's just going to go to the building and destroy it, obviously. Anyway. I'm just gonna hop right into them, that way you don't see who wins or loses. BAM! <laughs> Suckers. Alright, so this one, I actually put some buildings in just so we could see the wall breaker and the interactions between um, kind of what it does, how it can get to the tower, and how it kind of destroys or is attracted to buildings. So I thought that would be unique in the way that I did this. And I also, when we make these decks, we just kind of throw them together and so it's not like they're bomb diggity decks. But this deck was a little bit more spammy, which is interesting. I don't know if you guys saw that exchange. I'm talking over it, unfortunately. So obviously drop the giant in the back because that's what you do with this kind of deck. Drop the giant in the back. He drops his musketeer. Now watch this move. I'm gonna throw my wall breakers down, which is really cool. Throw the wall breakers down. They're gonna run in there. Heck, is, go ahead, he's gonna swing him on giant, watch that. One wall breaker, 400 damage, another wall breaker, bam, takes out the musketeer as well. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. 
I thought that was awesome. I did. I thought that was so cool. Anyway, Mama Pekka coming by here just take a few whacks at me. Um, totally distracted just because I have so many squishy, squishy troops. Okay, watch his wall breakers, dude. So, they both go towards the bomb tower and take that thing out completely. I guess Mama Pekka probably took it out too. Yeah, I think she did actually. Wall breakers did a, a decent amount of work, but I don't think it would have taken it out. Yeah, Pekka definitely whacked that thing. Okay, so here we are gearing up. I'm just hoping to beat Shane because I know he's pro. He's from Nasty Sauce, with that that actually makes sense. So <laughs> drop So I dropped my I don't even it's not funny. It's not funny, okay? <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, he drops Pekka, which is a good move. Obviously, he has a great push coming up there. I'm going to drop a high bomb tower. I figure that's the best chance I have for survival. He drops a Mega Minion right on top of it, which that actually makes sense. I should have known he was going to do that. But we're able to take most of that out, and I have so many squishy little troops. Watch this. Watch this. So I drop my skeletons, obviously. Drop my cannon somewhere in the oblivion. That's not going to do anything. I don't even know why I dropped it over there. But check this out, I think, and I dropped my Skarmy. Skarmy takes out that skeleton so easily, unfortunately. I think they're too squishy. They're just like wall breakers in Clash of Clans, they're so squishy. You can get to them. Here I am wasting Elixir, check this out. He's wasting Elixir a little bit too. I think because we're both trying to like figure out the new card and stuff, which that makes sense. Anyway, so I bomb up here. This is, I honestly don't know who wins this one, I can't remember. So. <laughs> He fireballs, which is awesome, because you got to take out those things when you have the chance. Those little buggers, if they get to the tower, zoom, you're, you're, you're in trouble. You are. You're in trouble. That's a problem. Okay, obviously. So, able to take out most of his little junk that he's throwing at me. Not too bad. He's got Mama Pekin coming down the lane. He likes Mama Pekin. He does. He likes Mama Pekka. Okay, so, <laughs> this should go really well. Hopefully my squishy troops will be able to stop this kid <laughs> from rocking my world right here, and I think it does. So obviously he throws Giant down, that makes sense. Throws his wall breakers down in an attempt to thwart my efforts. Does not succeed. I'm able to throw myself a cannon down, completely mitigate all damage from those little wall breakers. I got a fatty giant coming down there. He's not sure what to do because he doesn't have a lot of options. He could have thrown down my uh, Pekka. Uh, he probably uh, he probably did the right thing. Pekka would have got wouldn't have done the damage fast enough as well. I don't know. Maybe Pekka would have done good there. <clears throat> But he's got his wall breakers coming in. Throw the bomb tower down. Just suck up those bad boys. Don't want them into my tower. Don't want that. Able to push through with <laughs> Giant again. Okay. So, anyway, Giant gets almost all the way to the tower here, but I have so much stuff coming in. Oh, it was so close. If that little bugger would have got to the tower, it would have been GG right there. But able to stack up with another push, and I have so many little troops that I can just keep on spamming, basically. Bomb tower stops everything. He almost is able to zap, but I don't think it would have done anything just because I don't think the, the little wall breakers are strong enough to take something out like that. So very interesting interactions there. Let's check that out. Finally do get to the tower with my little dudes able to take that out. Let's get into one more battle here. I kind of want to show you, because it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's watch... Let's just pick a random one of the next three. I can't remember which one's the best. I think this should be a good one. He probably smokes me on this one. Yeah. So I do have three Musketeers deck. I thought that would be interesting. He's got a Fireball. And he has some good log plays on this one that basically the log, it doesn't kill. Kill? Is that the right word? Kill. Kill. Yeah, kill. So the lug doesn't kill the wall breakers, but it definitely stops them. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh dude, he got he got my king tower. I remember this one now. <laughs> I I I don't think I yeah I I, I play this one horribly. <laughs> this is horrible, absolutely horrible. So <laughs> I remember now. I was like spazzing out. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I just, I'm laughing because I know what's coming. I know what's coming up. Look at this. <laughs> I missed. I completely missed his Mega Minion. Okay. And then watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I missed again. You guys, that was horrible. Horrible plays on my part. You guys, look alive next time. Okay. Look alive. Next time you guys want to play Fireball and snowball and miss twice. 
Just give up, Clash Royale. Okay. It's not your it's not your game anymore. It's not your game. Okay. So here's what I do. I'm I'm like still so shocked that I missed the fireball and the snowball. Go ahead and start up with a nice giant push in the back after I waste four elixir. Okay. So dro drop that thing down there. The thing is, I know he has fireball back in cycle, which is horrible for me, obviously, because I got three musketeers. He's got fireball. How do? Oh yeah, we're both rocking fireball. Anyway, so I got the three musketeers. In hopes to thwart his efforts, I drop him at the river. He's not fooled. He knows what he's doing. He, he, he knows what he's doing. He flipping rocks my world just then. But I do get a cannon cart lock on the tower. Not to be... Don't don't you guys worry a little bit. Actually, I think I start playing a little bit better here. So watch this fireball move. Able to take out both wall breakers. A little bit of those piggies action. Okay. And able to go ahead and turn things around a little bit. No, not really. Still rocking my world. I lost. I think I lose this one horribly. Yeah, I can't even get to the tower. It's embarrassing. Don't tell my mom. Like, this is so bad right now. Like, so bad. I took all those out? That was just sheer luck, you guys. That was sheer luck. Like, honestly, I don't even know how that happened. That was a good fireball, though. Look at that. I'm back in it. I'm back in it. Oh my gosh, this is happening. Okay, so I dropped that. Oh yes, and I tried to do that. That was a dumb move. That was horrible. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh. Look at those two musketeers over there. They're wreaking havoc on his tower. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? Like, I can't even remember. Oh, I dropped three musketeers predictively. Oh my gosh, we take out all oh my gosh, giant snowball, I nailed it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I forgot this happened. This is nuts. I don't even know, I still don't even know if I win yet. Do I win? I don't know. Honestly, fireball. Horrible fireball. Go for the king tower. I won. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I forgot all, okay. I forgot I won. Okay, there's that. Next thing that I'm gonna talk to you guys about in the update, this is absolutely huge. I'm not even joking. This is no joke. Okay, this is no joke. We're gonna get out of this thing. We're gonna get out of the gameplay for a second, and I'm gonna show you the gear of the hog. Okay, you're like, it's another challenge, no big deal, Night Owl. Shush your monkey. Let me tell you guys. I, I think I have I have some other stuff that I built here. Oh, check this out, hold on. Oh, oh this one's a lot bigger. Holy crap, look at the size of that thing compared to that thing. Anyway, that's garbage. So, oh my gosh, those are heavy. That one was heavy, I forgot how heavy. I think I just broke my back. I just pulled a muscle. Gear of the Hog gonna change the game indefinitely. This is the newest thing that is gonna be awesome in Clash Royale. So basically, Royal Hogs spawn spontaneously on each side of the map. So you're playing cards, let's just get into a battle. I'll show you. This is gonna be nuts. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the battles, okay? Uh, <laughs> don't read the chats because we're chatting it up. <laughs> <laughs> Love this thing. Let's uh, let's speed through. Let's speed through the uh, the draft process because this is nuts. Okay, do you guys like the arena? BT Dubs. As a side note, while I'm drafting here, do you guys love it? Okay, so this is. <laughs> I still like. It is so funny. I still can't even stop laughing. Okay, so check this out. Hog, hog. Where are they? Where are they? Where are the hogs? So good luck. Whatever. So as soon as your bar gets to full elixir, a hog spawns on each side of the map. It's so <laughs> I can't stop laughing because those little huggies are, <laughs> are the cutest things I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that little hug. He's like a lone little bugger flying around with his little helmet on without his little buddies. I feel so bad for the little critter. But he does do damage. Watch throughout the entire match. He chips away at that tower so good. And on my tower too, unfortunately. <laughs> so, but anyway, but watch this. This is absolutely nuts. So Dark Prince, the Dank Prince, that Dank Prince, rocks that tower's world. Check that out. Another hog spawns. They're just spawning like crazy. This is why this game mode is gonna change the world, okay? It's gonna change Clash Royale forever. Can you imagine? Sparkies spawning like cray cray in the back or like infinite graveyards. You're like graveyard 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 just randomly Dude this PV 
E stuff is stuff that we've talked about for a while and I think it pretty much is going to be a game changer just because it's going to allow so many new things to be added to the game that have not been added yet. Kind of cool. So as far as what I predict the update to be so far, meh, okay, okay, it's okay. But this right here is what's going to start changing Clash Royale. So that from this this game mode itself, I'm going to give like 100% 10 out of 10. The rest of the update, meh, it's a little update. Okay, it's nothing crazy, nothing nothing big. Okay, but this right here, this is it. This is what is going to change. Clash Royale are gonna make things different, I promise you. I promise you. This is gonna be nuts because it has the ability to add so many different features to the game that we haven't even seen yet. It's so cool. Anyway, so, am I losing yet? I, I know I, I gotta lose or something's gonna happen because I always lose. So, it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> Shane's so good. He's so good, you know what he's doing. But these are random decks and we are trying new cards. This doesn't have the wall breaker in it, but look at this push I got going over here. You gotta be like honest, that's gotta be doing something, right? No? Look, we just eat his hog alive. Look at that cute little hog trying to get through. He actually defends that pretty well, like for a gig. I mean, that was a good push coming our way. I think he's gonna defend this really well. Why did I drop recruits of the bridge? What, what am I doing in the graveyard? What am I doing? I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. This is horrible. I hate the fireball. Fireball. <laughs> I made it, so I did it. Okay, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, is this over? So, able to stop that push completely. Yes, good game. You guys, as far as the update goes, it's decent. But this, right here, is what's gonna change the game. Thanks for dropping by the channel.